Hello and welcome back to the Pulse, your weekly red line source for news and sports from all around MHS. Thanks for joining us again. I'm Blake Kelly. And I'm Morgan Kite. Today on the Pulse, we will examine Manchester High School's ties to Broadway. We'll also take a look at how students react to games that they haven't played since middle school. And find out about a teacher who is leaving MHS to become a physician. Stay tuned. This is The, the Pulse. Pulse. Yes! Woo! We know that MHS has a long tradition of theater. The Drama Club was started in 1893 and took the name Sock and Buskin in 1926. They have been producing exceptional theater performances and performers. One alum in particular, Kenny Francoeur, recently signed a contract to perform in a Broadway production. Alex Hardy brings us the update. Kenny Francoeur started out just like any other MHS student that enjoys the arts. He had to balance school alongside music responsibilities. He took part in many of the school's plays and has continued his love of theater by hitting the big stage as he has recently signed with Broadway. He has also participated in plays such as The City of Angels, The Most Happy Fella, Never Never Land, and Ferrello. Mr. Tyler, the theater director at MHS, worked with Kenny throughout his high school career. We could pretty much throw anything at him and, and he would, uh, he'd rise to the top. Um, it was fun to create challenges for him actually um, because I knew that every time he would get past one of these challenges he would, be, he would become a better performer each time. Kenny was a go-getter. He, uh, he was the kind of kid that was always down here and he was always looking to, uh, to make this program better. Kenny has reached his ultimate goal of performing on Broadway. Without a doubt, he will be astonishing audiences around the world. From The Pulse, this has been Alex Hardy reporting. Kenny will have many great performances coming up, and we wish him good luck. As this school year is coming to the end, so is the journey for one of our very own teachers. Miss Booth, one of the MHS's science teachers, will be leaving teaching to take on a new career after two years of service to the school. Joyce Lin Kuei brings us the story. Miss Booth has been teaching for two years and got her start right here at MHS. Here at the high school, she teaches anatomy and physiology, an MCC course offered right here at the school. After a well-spent time at Manchester High School, she has decided to further her education to become a physician assistant at Pace University. She is very excited to embark on this new journey in her life. Um, originally I started off teaching and then I took extra jobs on the side so I worked every weekend last weekend as a certified nurse's assistant um, and I found out that medicine really is my passion and what I want to go into so that's what brought about my change from going from a teacher to becoming a physician assistant. Um, I think what I'll miss most at Manchester High is all the students. Um, I really enjoy spending time with my students and having them in my classroom um, but I think I'll be going into pediatric medicine so I'll probably be working with children again at some point in the future. Amani Walls, a senior here at MHS, has enjoyed the time she was able to spend being taught by Miss Booth. Within the short time of meeting Miss Booth, she has quickly developed a liking for her. Personally, I think it's a good opportunity for her because she's actually getting to do something that she wants, but at the same time, it's actually kind of sad because she's such an amazing teacher. It's great to see some of our very own teachers moving on to bigger and better things in life. From The Pulse, this has been Joyce Sinclair reporting. Good luck to Ms. Booth as she makes her way to become a physician's assistant at Pace University. We are all rooting for you here at The Pulse. Yes, we are. It has been a while since our last security update. Stella Coletti checks in with Mark McKenney to make MHS a safer place. Hello, everyone. This is Mark's Corner again. I guess we have an issue with the senior parking lot. Well, you shouldn't say senior parking lot. You should say juniors in senior parking lot. First come, first serve. I know the seniors are mad because it used to be only seniors in the parking lot, but now since they opened it up to juniors, everybody gets to park there. But you know what the deal is with everybody being there? You should have your sticker. So we do go around and see who has a sticker and who doesn't. But sometimes we can't get to everyone. That's why it's so crowded. But when it gets so crowded, one thing you shouldn't do is park on the grass, park by the trees, park illegally. We're just gonna call you from your classrooms until you come in and move your car. 
but first come, first serve. So if you gotta go to lunch, make sure you have a friend and um, try to save your spot. But other than that, a lot of juniors, a lot of seniors drive now this year. So I'm sorry for the mishap of the parking lot, but what can we say? First come, first serve. So if you're a student struggling to find a spot to park each morning, your only solution is to leave your house just a bit earlier. The senior junior parking lot is fair play for all upperclassmen. Just a friendly reminder, in order to park in the senior lot, students can go to guidance to pick up a registration form. Believe it or not, although FBLA is academic, it is also a competitive club where they put their business skills to the test by creating original service projects and reports. This year, they're going all the way to Chicago for the 2015 national competition. Cameron Wesolowski brings us a story. The Future Business Leaders of America is the largest business career student organization in the world, with over 215,000 students participating at the high school level. Here at MHS, we have over 30 students who are passionate about business and devote many hours to this organization. Uh, when we were on the stage and we heard second place um, being called for our, my community service project, personally, uh, we, were, we just started like looking at each other and like shaking each other. We were like, oh my god, we're going to nationals because we got first. So it was a, definitely an accomplishment because we've been working so hard and we were just so excited to get to go. FBLA has gone to three state conferences and one national conference and are planning on attending the 2015 national conference in Chicago. The club is also involved in many community events, such as the Halloween Haunted House, Winter Wonderland, and the Spring Extravaganza, including their most recent fundraiser this past Wednesday at Moe's. Ms. Cote has been advising this successful club for two years now. I enjoy being the advisor of FBLA. I'm able to meet with students in a different environment that's outside of the classroom, and yet they're still learning the skills that they need to be in the business world, like public speaking, leadership, and learning more about the different subject areas within the business field like accounting, entrepreneurship, and marketing. Good luck at Nationals FBLA. From The Pulse, this has been Cameron Wasilowski reporting. Stay tuned for more fundraisers to help support FBLA's trip to Nationals in Chicago. All right, Manchester, we are putting out a new thing here at The Pulse. We are seeing how you react to your favorite things. Jane Nolan has brought us along with some friends to throw it back to everyone's favorite childhood Disney games. Here's the edition of MHS Reacts. So what's the sitch? Call me, beep me if you wanna reach me. Oh, there it is. Wait. Never mind. I, I don't know how to get past this ball. <laughs> Oh wait, no, I have to... I'm a beach, I'm a beach. Yeah. Wow, I'm nasty. Oh, time's up. I didn't hear what you I'll be Hannah. I'll be basic. I'm not gonna last around here. No, this is it's no, it's not working. It's really not working. The keyboard is not working, guys. Go. Hey, but the keyboard is not working.
gonna win. Ashley's stuck and she won't move. I miss those games, man. Good times. Yeah, I know. One of my favorites was a sweet life of Zach and Cody. Yeah. Uh, I always get to level 10. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. Well, speaking of games, let's check in with Connor Dion and Ariel Ferrando in this week's review booth. It'll be hard. There will be tears. There will be. Oh, hi. I would see you there. My name is Connor Dion, and today we're going to be doing the third annual boys and out girls golf uh, putting competition. So yeah. So the bracket is as follows. No. Yeah. Great. Let's go. I'm using the ball of choice, which is. Got to reach down in here. Linda 2.0. The way our putting competition worked was quite simple. The lowest score on the hole would win the hole, thus giving a point to the person who won the hole. Therefore, when the score added up, whoever had won the most holes with the lowest score in those holes won the matchup. After a solid first round, we had a lot of great fun, and the people who advanced were Blake, Brandon, Jack, Vito, me, and Brittany. Yes! Oh! Oh! Where are you? Out of our elite group of winners, we have to narrow them down even further. I won my round, Blake won his, and Jack won his against Vito. Now that we're down to our wow. final three, I got the bye week while Jack pulled an upset on the number one player in the state, Blake Kelly, and Jack and I are going to the final. It's just that easy. Final round! Jack Dunley versus Connor Dion in the final round. Oh, they're putting already. Well, so much for that. High five. After many, many, many holes, Jack and I decided to tie. So yes, the end of our third annual golf putting competition is a tie between me and Jack. See us next year. All right, the first hole is a par three beauty, a par two beauty, uh, located near the ocean with scenic vistas of water. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's, let's record. Well, it seems like that's all the time we have for you today. If you have anything that is newsworthy that we might have missed, feel free to stop by the communication suite or email Mr. Larson at b11elars at mpspride.org. Again, thanks for tuning in. I'm Blake Kelly. And I'm Morgan Kite. This has been The, the Pulse. Pulse. That's pretty good. Yeah, I feel pretty good about it. My hair was in my face, but that's okay. What, for the last shot? Yeah, for most of it.